Well, this guy. Good morning. Good morning. Standing it's... by the fireplace getting warm. Because do you know why? It's going to be bright, but look outside. It's a blizzard. It's just snowing. <coughs> You guys see that coming down? It's kind of fun. You don't have to travel, but this guy's going to Arizona. <laughs> and it's my mom's 60th birthday party tonight. Happy birthday, Larry. <laughs> You'll be gone. He couldn't help it. He knew about this work trip for ages ago. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. You guys are cute. Just warming up your butts by the fire. Look, we got the whole Christmas taken down. Yay! Jackson said, this hair. Diego. He loves how many times I say, just her. We dropped Coop off at school. We're gonna film the mom's do here today. And then I'm helping my dad plan the surprise party for my mom, AKA I'm doing all the planning. Carl's just asking questions. <laughs> but it's my mom's 60th. I can't believe she's 60. She does not seem like she's 60. She's old, but not like, bless her heart. She's a good woman. Her is a good woman. I posted the cutest picture of her and I on my Instagram today. It's her doing my hair when I was a little girl. I'm just looking at it better like, you're my hero. I love you, mom. What's up, YouTube? Today's a good day. I gotta go on a work trip, which isn't a good day, but I'm, get, I'm taking my truck right now to the Toyota dealership to get leather seats, window tint, and uh, a clear bra and then Carly is gonna drop me off at the aeropuerto. So I have to fly out. Um, it's like six inches of new snow today, and it makes me really kind of jealous and kind of bugged that I have to go to, I can't get the garage door to close. I want the garage door remote work. Sometimes it does that. There we go, I got it. You know, it's too far away. That's weird. Um, gotta drive over to the airport and fly to Tucson, Arizona. Never been there. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be at least, if I can't ski in this weather, at least it's gonna be warmer. It's gonna be about 70 degrees. I would love to have a condo or something in somewhere warm and somewhere cold. It'd be like the two extremes, you know, you could go skiing, you're like, man, I'm tired, take that cop in the car and drive to the warmth. Um, anyways, I'll show you the truck when it's done. Look at all of this snow. This is crazy. Look at all the trucks just covered in the snow. I saw them at the other dealership turning all the trucks on with a remote start to let the, the heaters work and like defrost the windshields. That's what they were doing at the field, uh, at the Ford store when I dropped those things off at the post office they today. They should have a, just a grand old snow day for everyone. I Ooh, can't believe they had school though. today. Do you think they'll have flights out today? Out of Pocatello? Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty tough in Idaho. We know how to get it done, you know? If it is a surprise storm, that's where it really screws everybody up flying. But if it's like, Daniel you know, is coming in. forecasted and they can get the snow plows out, then um it was snowing so all day yesterday and then like through the night and now yeah it's been snowing for like 18 hours straight i um, love it it's fun but when i used to live in dallas they don't have snow plows down there and so whenever there's any little amount of snow they don't know what to do they freak out they <laughs> Does don't it ever need, snow like this they don't need need snow plows i only saw it snow like this one time i was only there for oh, two I wasn't years yielding. but uh snowed like this and then there was a couple ice storms or that, those are worse than snowstorms because there's like an inch or two of ice just over everything our heater shut down it sucked it was very very cold that's when i was with quinny oh Quinn. Yeah. anyways it's gonna be look at that laser day. focus the i'm laser only focus. going maybe 20 my car is terrible on snow where we need two SUVs. It was a good day to uh, give our car away, huh? <laughs> Just timing. Can't time it. Timing in Mother Nature. Oh yeah. gosh. Oh gosh. Well, all right. We're gonna. They're gonna film the mom's at the house. Did you see my uh, 
lovely note I gave them. <laughs> and uh, I'm flying away. Carly's flying to meet me tomorrow. So that'll be good. And then we can, it's like supposed to be 70 degrees. Heck, that will be such like a, that'll be like a culture shock. Make sure you bring your uh, swimming suit. I do. I do. He's a photographer. Hey, bump sister. Hi. I, I like your shirt. I hate being on camera with you. Would you stop? <laughs> She's so little. You didn't look like you're pregnant. <laughs> you rude. You stop being so little. That's so cute. I can't even see my freaking toes right now. Okay, if I do that, I can. <laughs> then we got Ty and Ka. Wow. I wanted it to rhyme. Right. I was That's stretching right. that. Yeah. I was like, cat. No, it's K-A. It doesn't really go. I'm filming the mom's view. Coopers. So <laughs> You're like, wait, do you know my name? Rude. Oh, I do. Wait a second. <laughs> I was just trying to rhyme. Cooper, I was going to you guys say hi to Cooper. It's crazy. It's snowing so much and it's so cold that they canceled school tomorrow. School even started tomorrow. They canceled it. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just watching. You're just playing? Yeah. What you watching? Oh my gosh. So my mom's surprise birthday is tonight and my dad's basically put me in charge of it. <laughs> and Jackson left for Arizona. We're still filming. And yeah, it's just crazy winter we in. We showed you guys that earlier today. But hopefully tonight will go over well and my mom will be happy and surprised. This is like a NASCAR pit stop for birthday parties. How fast can we decorate? Look, we got a 60. What are you two doing? What are you two doing? Look at all of her friends came for the surprise. Colette. The girls, have you guys come up with your like celebratory birthday dance cheer? Oh yeah. Uh, you guys always do that. It's also the same one that we did for She won't even remember she's old, you know? <laughs> This is funny. Look so good. Listeners, I'm just gonna say that. Do not listen to me. I'm very important guy on green chair right now. Okay. Don't worry yourself. So Lars gonna be here in like three minutes. If they're on time, you don't have some time. So what was the point? She's always on time at work. I know. Me too. That's my mom's boss. We're all gonna just get on this side. So when she walks in, she's walking through this way right here. Oh. And we'll be really quiet when she walks in. We'll say Larry really loud. Larry! Instead of surprise. Or That's overused, you know? Merry Christmas or whatever. <laughs> Scream her name like she's in trouble. And say yes! Larry! Larry! <laughs> My family does not like quiet. Turn out the light. <laughs> out the light. <laughs> Who's gonna flash her though? Yeah, Scott and Casey like anyway. They fall in the driveway, open the garage door, like ruin the surprise. Who did? No, I'm just kidding. It's a good surprise. Sherry, it's useless. We're just saying, Larry, right? Yeah, Larry. Whose party is it? Who's gonna start us? <laughs> Who's gonna say one, two, three? You have the solo. When, when, when she comes out. Watch, he's like yelling at dad. And I told I you. I hope so. I'll get on camera. Yeah, yeah. Wait, till she comes. I'm fine. Am I here? Hey, you're not supposed to say that out loud. Get the real Disable. 
Yeah. Larry's in there, but look at the decorations. We did a good job in a real quick amount of time. Cooper and I ran to Hobby Lobby. We ran and I was like, anything purple to decorate, you can get your hands on. And we did it. Mom, did I surprise you? She called me a liar. I thought you were in Arizona. I even texted you. I was kind of mad because the roads are so bad. I got stuck up my beer four times. San Diego, if you don't live in San Diego, she's going. Just tell her your team's not going to be there next year anyway. Please, the mayor. We're talking football. Casey's kicking everyone out. <laughs> Oh, I thought it'd be a little more romantic to hear stories. <laughs> We're having a break, Hold on. She's, she's, I call her my little friend. She's my little friend that's sitting next to me. And she's kind of a little bit. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. <laughs> What was that, Katy Perry? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that shirt. Those are cutest puppies ever. Oh my. <laughs> what, do you know mommy's leaving? Do you know the mom's time to go? I just got my bag and you guys know it's time to go goodbye. Where are you gonna go? You didn't have school today, huh? You're excited? So, it's so cold in Idaho. Who's calling me? It's so cold in Idaho that they canceled school today. It's like eight, a snow day. eight degrees or negative eight, and it was supposed to snow like four to eight more inches Hi. than it already has, and so they were gonna cancel school yeah. yesterday. They didn't, and then everybody was getting stuck, yes. so they canceled school today. And today doesn't even seem that bad. It just seems really cold, and That's it makes me laugh because I know the people in Canada are like, this weather is nothing compared to Canada. So anyways, going to meet Jackson at the airport, he had quite the fiasco last night. He started traveling at 12 o'clock at noon yeah. and didn't get into Salt Lake until five o'clock at night. Okay, you two, what is happening? Uh, it is Friday today and uh, I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday. I was so exhausted from all the traveling. I'm gonna tell you what happened um, while I was flying. So I get to Pocatello and my connection was from Pocatello to Salt Lake and then into Tucson and right when I got to Pocatello they announced that the flight was delayed a couple of hours because of the snow. So I sat there in the airport, waited, we finally got out of there but because of the flight delay in Pocatello by the time I got to Salt Lake my I had missed my connection flight so they bumped us back to take an 8 p.m. flight from Salt Lake to Tucson. So we go, I'm, I'm traveling with a group of people that I work with, we go, we eat some food, we sit in the airport about eight o'clock, rolls around and we get on the flight, um, but the, the airline um, was delayed because it began snowing again in Salt Lake. So we're delayed about 40 minutes, we finally get on the plane, um, well, I think like 8.40, um, we go out, there's like a huge long line of 10 planes to get de-iced. So while we're waiting to get de-iced, uh, it takes another about an hour. We finally get de-iced where they spray that stuff all over the plane. Um, but by the time we got de-iced, there was too much snow on the runway. And the planes that came in would land, but they weren't able to break good enough, I guess, is what the pilot said. So they had to taxi us over to a new runway um, that they had just plowed and we're getting ready to take off and they come back and they look at the the pilot actually left the cockpit came back um, looked at the wings and said we needed to go get de-iced again so because <laughs> it was it was snowing so much so we fly back or we drive the plane back over to the de-icer wait in line get de-iced for the second time fly back pilot says we need to go get more fuel at the gate so we drive the plane back to the gate. He lets us off, we get back on the plane. This time it's about 12. So we've been on the plane for about four hours now. 
The pilot says that due to restrictions, they are past the legal number of hours that they are allowed to work. Uh, so then they get us all off of the plane. They canceled the flight. I called my mom. She drove all the way to the airport, <laughs> picked me up, I slept at her house, um, woke up the next day. My flight was scheduled. I got on a flight at 3. It was only delayed 30 minutes and finally made it to Tucson by 6 o'clock. So I got there a day and a half later than I was supposed to. It was a nightmare. Everybody was laughing like hysterically when the pilot's like, sorry guys, we are legally not allowed to fly. Uh, we're like, what have you been doing up there? Captains, huh? What have you been doing? But anyways, I'm here. Carly was supposed to fly out on Saturday and we were actually scheduled to take the same flight from Salt Lake to, to Tucson. Uh, but Carly's flight from Pocatello was delayed and she missed it and they couldn't rebook her. So she is home in Idaho and I am here. That is the story. Now I am stuck in the Ritz-Carlton for the next three days at investment meetings. How awesome is that? <laughs> uh, anyways, that's the story. Sorry for the lack of vlogs. I vlogged a little bit last night. I'm going to send these over to Carly and we're going to put them up today. Anyways. Then his flight was delayed, then they ran out of gas, and they had to get de-iced, and then the pilot had been flying too long, so it was illegal. So then he had to stay at his mom's yeah. house last night and didn't get there till two o'clock at night. So anyways, I'm gonna say bye to I'll Coop. He's going back with his dad. Okay, let's go. What's up? Turn Call of Duty off. And yeah, it's just a been a crazy travel day. Real first world problems. I probably just got my car stuck at the airport parking lot. And I didn't wear any socks because I'm going into Arizona, so I can't get out or my whole foot's gonna get wet. It's gonna be freezing. Hi guys. Oh, what kind of car are you in right now? A Ford? <laughs> Toyota. Um, we are going to get my iPod checked because... Exactly. <laughs> it's disabled. I've tried my password a million times because like... Focus. One million? Like, yeah, seriously. You it's, tried one million times. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> um, and we're going to check it out. Oh my gosh, I was looking for my um car charger. Just holding it in my hand as I'm looking for it. That happens. What's wrong with this? Why does it have to Ah Oh my gosh. What up? And we are going to AT and T and we'll see you there. Oh my gosh, you guys, can we talk about all the things? So, I was supposed to be meeting up in Arizona with Jackson. I was gonna go after my mom's surprise party because I couldn't miss that. What is going on? It's been a while. I have been traveling and literally I have been stuck in uh, Salt Lake City for like 24 hours um, with Carly. I came to a work convention for my uh, securities business and um, just was a nightmare getting here I'm in Tucson, Arizona. I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton. It's kind of nice. Um, it's like another room back over there. And uh, I had everything set up for Carly to come with me, but uh, her flight got stuck and they couldn't get her out. And uh, I was already in Salt Lake a day ahead of her, so we just called it off and I'm just going to finish the conference and go home. But uh, I'll tell you the story in a minute, but I want to vlog some of these wild boars, I think, that are right underneath my room window. Okay, I want to show you these bo these wild boars. Look at this, it's crazy. One, two, three, four. They're just sitting there eating all of There's five of them, so there's another one. Three on the right, and two over here on the left. And there's just like walkways and pads, and there's the pool right over there. And then over here is the restaurant. This is wild. People are walking right there. I wonder if they'll attack them. Maybe I can get a video of a boar attacking a human. AKA okay, because my dad just threw it on my lap to plan it, Carl, you naughty. Um, and so I was gonna fly out today to go meet up with him in Arizona and my flight got canceled. It got delayed and then my delay would have missed my connection to meet up with Jackson in Salt Lake. His flight got delayed last night and then ended up getting canceled. He had to stay with his mom until like, I think three today and that's when his flight took out, took out, left out, whatever. 
and then my car got stuck at the airport because my Kia, this bad boy, Kia, such a bad car, in the snow, got high centered at the airport. So this cutest, nicest guy helped me. Cutest just meaning like, he was so nice and just like, you're pregnant, let me help you. But he told me I was smart. He was impressed because I did put my floor mats under my tires because they weren't getting any gription. And I was like having them help me to like get my tires to catch <laughs> my brain. <laughs> to catch gription so I could get out. Long story short, I dropped Cooper off at his grandma. She was going to help babysit him because his dad's also out of town. I take the dogs to the kennel. I get the house clean. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. I'm at the airport. And on my Delta app, it didn't even tell me that my flight was delayed. It didn't even tell me my flight was delayed until I got up to the counter. And the ladies are like, yeah, your flight is going to be delayed. We don't know if you're going to make your connection. And we might not even send you because your connection um, would put you to the later flight. And the later flight is all sold out. <laughs> so it was like, oh. So Jackson just got a truck, his t um, a new t a new Tundra, Toyota Tundra, thank you Cooper. But it is getting leather seats put in it and something done with the windows. So of course that had to happen right when we had the craziest snow of the year. Like look at our, there is so much snow. This doesn't even do it justice and it's negative temperature. So everything is like frozen over. So my car just like, how many times did we get stuck yesterday going to grandma's party? like five times and then coming home I got stuck and Grandma Carl had to drive all the way out and help me and just put his truck right behind my car because there's no hooks on my car to like pull, pull it and like push me <laughs> I was like that's it I need to go get an SUV um we had a Tahoe it was Jackson's Tahoe and he just decided he wanted to trade that in and get a truck which is awesome because in Idaho you just need an SUV like and now with the baby coming I want to go get an SUV just because we just need more room especially having two dogs two kiddos running around so I'm gonna be going to look at like Tahoe's or I don't know some kind of mid SUV or SUV my car is paid off so it kind of is like um I just got it paid off and so it kind of makes me feel like oh I don't want to go pay more cash and try to do another get another car but that is just like one of those things that we need to do huh yeah so it's just Coop and I like look at this wall of snow can you see this no look at Cooper's head and that wall of snow <laughs> holy Idaho and snow mm -hmm. 